Hey okay, everyone, welcome, welcome to another episode of That's All Funny, episode 551. Uh, just here, not being queer, not getting used to it. Um, hanging out, trying to make it another week. What are we at? Friday? Okay. Friday night. No, it's Friday. Friday, Friday, gotta get down on Friday. I actually really like that song. I know when it came out, it's by Rebecca Black. I, um... Uh, actually bought it on iTunes like when you know songs were like it was like 99 cents and I, I jammed it for a while until I got tired of it because I really did like it it's like a guilty pleasure and now Rebecca Black actually makes pretty good music and uh, would like to see her live that'd be cool she seems like she's uh, shed that <laughs> that persona that was uh, you know obviously created by uh, record company into whatever she is now so i mean good for her. good for rebecca black um aside from her last name she's not black she's a white woman so that's kind of misleading but you know we all can't be uh, <laughs> fully 100 percent uh transparent you know and accountable uh anyways let's look at the news there's some inter- interesting inter- uh, there's some interesting news here uh, let me get it up here. Ronda Rousey says concussions led to UFC WWE retirement. And here's a nice picture of her, man. They really know how to use the nicest pictures <laughs> on here. See it NBC or whoever it is. Who is this? Who is this uh, UPI news? I don't know. Not not a very flattering picture for her, uh, but I'm sure I'll use it in the thumbnail. Uh, Combat sports legend Ronda Rousey says concussions led to retirement. Wednesday on her Instagram, the 37-year-old went 12-2 and in UFC. She lost her final two fights via knockouts to Holly Holm in 2015 and Amanda Nunes in 2016. My concussion history, I had to keep secret for years so I would be able to continue to compete and perform, Rousey said in her Instagram video while promoting her new book, Our Fight. That's basically why I had to retire. Uh, I'll have to look at that. I, I, I know, well, not look at her concussion history, but I mean... The book because I do I am interested in like um memoirs and shit especially when they're told by the person uh whoever it may be it's interesting especially audiobooks too where they're read by the author I know um Becky Lynch is about to come out with hers so I'll probably buy that because I get paid today and, and that money's already spent already had to pay my truck and um I had to pay Amazon Prime because that's coming up this month and I don't know other other end oh my phone bill my phone bill's coming up too so i gotta pay that uh so if you're interested in the patreon patreon.com slash lorenzo Arioli, you can help help me pay my bills uh, nah i'm 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 good i i know how, i know how to somewhat manage money uh so i'll be fine no worries um uh, that's not i'm not e-begging let's let's make that clear i just want uh you know uh, if you want to sign up the patreon you get episodes early uh bonus stuff you know all the stuff i, I say it at the end you, you already know anyway ronda rousey uh yeah she was in the wwe and um i guess she had to i mean i'm sure she'll end up in i think she was in ring of honor right she was she was going to AEW, and she did some stuff in ring of honor do you i know the doctor over there at, with AEW. he's a he just like tony khan just like hey uh is this person cleared to to wrestle no tony Okay, but I can find another doctor that'll say they're clear. Do you want a job or not? And he's just like, all right, they're clear. Because, I mean, he cleared, the doctors cleared Sting. They cleared uh, Soraya. Uh, they've cleared however many other people uh, when you could tell they're, they're like, how many times have they cleared a, a Matt Hardy after he's been fucked up by Sammy Guevara? So, I don't know. Um, we'll see. I mean, good for her that she can retire. I know. She has a kid, or she had a kid rec- pretty recently, right? Like a few years back. So, you know, um, you deserve it. You deserve No, she can do whatever she wants. Um, she's she's earned that, I think, right? Especially how she kind of made uh, the UFC breakthrough for women. Even though, uh, you know, at the end, she kind of, like, uh, failed it. Because her style wasn't really, like, anything... There were better styles, you know. I don't know much about UFC, but it, you could tell, like, near the end, it's just kind of like uh, Chuck Liddell or something where, you know, maybe she was dominant at the beginning, but then you get uh, fighters that are better 
uh or more versed in like all styles and it makes you see like the person uh who you thought was the shit has a lot of holes in their defense and offense so but again good for her she she can do whatever she wants um here's the article here united states sues apple and i don't know how true this is i did see something like about this um the u.s department of justice accused apple of operating an illegal monopoly in the smartphone market an expansive new antitrust lawsuit that seeks to upend many of the ways apple locks down iphones uh the doj along with 16 states and district attorneys generals accuse apple of driving up prices for consumers and developers at the expense of making users more reliant on its phones the parties allege that Apple selectively imposes contractual restrictions on developers and withholds critical ways of accessing the phone as a way to prevent competition from arising, according to release. You know, like, uh, like that's all this is true, right? Apple does do a lot of shit like that, where it's like they they know how popular their product is. And they know, like, they hold the most, like, uh, user base or whatever, right? I don't know the percentage, but everybody has an iPhone over an Android. And then there, there's, you know, Samsung with the Android that's next. And then the 1%, 2% of, like, random phones, like, Hawaii, what, Hawaii or Hanalei and uh, other, right, systems, Windows, or whatever. Um, but... This is just them doing like just because they're successful doesn't mean they have to like bend the knee to the government. Like uh, I know um Epic Games was trying to do that lawsuit because because uh you know Fortnite was on Apple, very popular on Apple, but Apple takes like a 25% cut of everything that gets sold through their stores and other uh phone co companies, let's say like Android. Android doesn't take that much. Android takes, I don't know, for the sake of the argument, 20% or 15%, right? A lot less of the cut. So uh, Epic was saying, oh, no, we're going to make, we're going to circumvent this by putting our phone, like, app on there, and then they pay a different way. Like, they were finding, Epic was finding a way to circumvent it, and that basically violated the rules of Apple uh the the guidelines right or the policies and so they took fortnite off of there and made a big deal because they were trying epic was trying to sue apple for monopolizing the market like that and i don't know what happened i know for i think they made like a deal where fortnite is back on there uh but you know like they got they got to do what they got to do you, you, they get their 25 percent cut that's just what apple can do like it, it's in that position as being the leader in phones that it can do that and just because it's so successful doesn't mean it's um restricting other people like oh you you have all the phones so you can do whatever you want it's like well we had to build it that way you know they did it well with marketing and having very good phones and uh they could do whatever they want like it's their company you know they're not a fucking government owned entity or something they're a fucking private company they can do whatever the fuck they want just because they have it's not monopolizing no like if if uh if android or samsung which i'm not saying they're bad phones but if they made better phones right or uh some other company came through and tried to make a better phone or a different like hip more phone more of a hip phone then they could eat into apple like it's that simple you know we can <laughs> i don't know they're not it's not a monopoly though like i i don't think so they're, they're not there's other markets out there they're just not doing it as well so yeah and i don't know why the united states has to butt their head into this they just want money or maybe like uh some of the people on the department of justice have stock in samsung or stock in android and want to fuck with apple you know because Apple, I don't know, can do whatever it wants, right? Uh, next year, and I have an iPhone. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't like the laptops, the Apple laptops. I'm gonna probably get one just because I'm like trying to get cybersecurity degree, so I'll get one eventually. But um, I don't like their laptops. I love their phones though, just because it's simple, you know. Android, I'm not a big fan of. Uh, I've tried it. I'm just 
that green bubble i swear no i I'm, i don't care it just prefer the iphone uh, for my phone needs next year baron trump fair game comment enrages republicans uh republicans voice their outrage after former nbc senior executive mike sington said that former president donald trump's youngest son baron was now fair game on his 18th birthday um <laughs> this is so weird because you would think like these senior executives i get what he's saying fair game so you could talk shit about them but you would think since they're like part of uh news companies that they're more into younger children you know and at, at 18 year old 18 years old they're like oh no that that fruit ain't ripe anymore that's that's spoiled you can't fucking pick that peach off the tree and eat it for hours you know but uh yeah i mean i guess he's fair game whatever you know i don't know why you would say that <laughs> you're a dumb at, like that's something that doesn't need to be said but of course that's what twitter's for is to say things that don't need to be said that's the perfect place for twitter right uh i didn't mean i didn't say that out loud you're reading it out of context it's like dude how can you not read that in any other tone but the way you're putting it but whatever uh i mean yeah he's 18 yeah he's fair game whatever he's 18 he's a man like deal with it he's a white man he, he he's he he can be dealt with everyone else has been beating up all of trump's other children and uh families and all that and um we fuck with Biden and all his, uh, well, you know, he has children that he like, what, like grandchildren that he's disowned. Like he doesn't really uh, have them or he does. I don't know. He doesn't like admit to it, but you know, that's just uh, not being a good uh, family man, you know, but that's, that's our president. <laughs> uh, another here thing here, news thing here, right? Planet Fitness stock plummets days after canceling Christian woman's membership over trans policy. And Planet Fitness stock dropped this week after the company made headlines for canceling the membership of a Christian woman who complained that a man who self-identifies as queer was allowed in the women's locker room. Uh, and here we go. Uh, early, this isn't the recent time this has happened. Earlier this month, Patricia Silva shared on social media that her local Planet Fitness had revoked her membership after she took a photo of a man shaving in the woman's locker room. In the video recapping the cancellation of her gym membership, the woman claimed that a 12-year-old girl covered only by a towel was also in the locker room while the man was shaving at the sink. Um, yeah, it starts with wedding cakes. It starts with letting them get married. And now uh, they're invading every place that they can um i don't know man like uh it's a it's a planet fitness locker room like you're gonna see weird shit there anyways you know that's like uh you'll probably see a homeless dude showering in whatever restroom he can he's probably all drugged out right because that's what homeless people do uh because that's i know that was a plan i would have done if i was homeless is if you don't have a shower you get a planet fitness membership it's open 24 hours so you just go in there, take a shower, sleep in the fucking toilet so you have a home, you know, you're out of the street. So it's like the perfect plan, uh, really, 10 bucks a month, you know. And then you can work out, too, if you're into that, really. But, <clears throat> of course, you're going to see weird shit go down on Planet Fitness. It's the the fucking, the poor, the, like the, what, the Oregon, the Oregon, and all the Seattle of uh, fucking uh, workout places. So, um. That's funny that their stock's plummeting, though. Like, you, you would already think it's not all that, but who knows? Maybe it keeps going up because of the homeless people buying all the memberships there. And then they get free pizza on, what, like Wednesdays or something, once a month, so to motivate and keep you fat. But I like that they throw in here that uh, she was a Christian woman. Like, that makes her any better. I would make me not care about her opinion more. Uh, and then Christian is a man's name. Thank you. So you're not a Christian woman. You're a man over a trans policy. None of this makes sense. The world doesn't make sense. Whatever. Uh, finally here, the last thing I have here, 44,500 Starbucks mugs recalled after a dozen people hurt. Okay. So let me do the math here, right? 
44,500 mugs have been recalled for a dozen people getting hurt. Yeah, that ratio is not really, you know, a big deal, but whatever. Star okay, so Nestle is recalling nearly half a million Starbucks mugs recently sold after at least a dozen people suffered injuries, including burns or cuts while using the product. Uh, yeah, I'm looking at the mug here. It's a cute little metallic mug. Of course, they're going to put that it was manufactured in China. Not that that's not true, but, uh, you know, let's throw that in there to make China look like the bad guy. If the mug is microwaved or filled with a hot liquid, the mugs can overheat or break, posing the risk of burns, cuts, or other hazard, uh, as reported. Um, so the way I'm seeing this is that this mug is going to become a eBay fucking seller like crazy now that it's being recalled like people are going to want it it's going to be a collector's item i wouldn't even doubt if starbucks did this on purpose just to make this thing like more valuable um no i don't think they did it on purpose they don't want to recall so many mugs Four hundred thousand five hundred starbucks mugs recalled how do you measure in love what about mugs um i don't know i i don't i'm not really into mugs i feel like mugs i have big hands so it's hard for me to get my um hand into a mug to wash it i prefer tumblers and then they you know do what they say they tumble uh when you drop them so they don't break and uh i don't know I, i'm more of a cold liquid person i, I rarely I'm trying to think if i drink any hot liquids I mean, I like a good hot chocolate every now and then, but very, I'm more of an iced coffee dude. So that shit goes into a tumbler. Like, you, you, I feel like cold drinks are just the better option. Uh, that's just my take. I'm, I'm not really a hot coffee person anymore. And then, uh, yeah, shit like this goes down, <laughs> you know, with the mugs and shit. But whatever. If you have this mug uh, here, uh, maybe it will be worth a lot of money. I would save it, hold on to it, and then people are going to want it, and then it's going to go up on eBay. I um, write that down. I promise you that the the price of this mug is going to go rowdy up because it's being recalled. That shit happened with us. All the recall shit. I remember the Samsung phone that I had here that was recalled uh, went up in value, just like the phone itself. You know, because people wanted it. That one like note that blew up in planes and shit and and then you would charge it under your fucking what was it it was like charging under a girl's pillow as she slept thinking about her boyfriend and the fucking phone exploded catching her pillow on fire so she woke up like in flames uh allegedly i don't know i don't remember that fucking story you know it, it's 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 somewhere in the news just look it up but that's all funny guys i want to thank you for listening to the podcast uh, available anywhere podcast available that's all funny got a podcast with my buddy Gabe called that's all kayfabe we talk about wrestling that's available anywhere podcasts are available just search that's all kayfabe if you want to see video versions of each of those uh, shows check out the youtube youtube.com slash at Lorenzo Ariola. uh have other videos there like of gaming other random stuff or I also do a live show with the great mint salad called tits and areolas that's on live Tuesday nights at 8 o'clock central 9 o'clock eastern on there and on twitter uh if you want to support the show you can check out the patreon patreon.com slash lorenzo Ariola. five dollars a month gets you everything uh delete the episodes early episodes ad free episodes bonus episodes etc etc archived episodes right check that out really appreciate the support and uh if you want to buy any merch check out the website www.retrohorrorinc.com uh, we got t-shirts, we got prints, we got stickers. If you want to commission some great art from a great artist at Retro Horror Inc. on Instagram and on Twitter, you can follow me at Lorenzo Ariola on Instagram and Twitter. And uh, yeah, thank you to my Patreon subscribers. Thank you to uh, the listeners. Like and subscribe. Appreciate all the support. Take care. Stay 